What's up guys, Trilogy here. Today we're doing a movie review over Spyro from the Book of Saul, starring Chris Rock. Funnily enough, you would never think that Chris Rock would be in a Saul movie. We have Samuel L. Jackson, who is very versatile. He's pretty much been in every genre of movie. Um, superhero, suspense, comedy, he's in everything. Um, and these are gonna be the main lead, but mainly focusing on Chris Rock. Um, focus, first up, this is not going to have any spoilers, so it's going to be a very quick video. Just going to be doing a review on The Book of Saul. So yeah, I think this movie was not horrible. Yeah, it wasn't horrible. It could have been better for real. I have not seen pretty much any of the Saul movies. I mean, I watched, uh, before you watch Book of Spiral, I mean, for... I watched a Before You Watch Spiral Book of Saw video, and I got a little bit of the backstory and the history of the small, the Saw franchise. But independently, um, as someone who hasn't watched any of the Saw movies, because I'm not a big fan of gore, I don't like a lot of that stuff, but my girlfriend wanted to see this movie, so we went to go see it. And if you watch any of my other videos, that's how I end up watching a lot of movies. I like movies, I promise you. Just... Me and her have very different tastes. And if I watch a movie, I'm probably going to do a video on it just for anybody who is on the fence about watching a movie. On the flip side, I made her watch Oxygen with me off of Netflix and she made me watch Spiral. So here we are. It's a give and take relationship like most relationships are. But back to Spiral, I really thought Chris Rock was his character. Uh, there could have been more given to his character. Chris Rock really played this crazy, um, this character pretty good because... I forgot that it was Chris Rock at certain points, but you know, he has a very memorable voice, to me at least. If I hear a recording, um, I think of Chris Rock, and anytime I think of Chris Rock, I think of that, um, the skit at the end of Blame Game by Kanye West, where he's talking to his girlfriend and Kanye West is on the other line and nobody knows, and that, that stuff is just sick. But every time I think of Chris Rock, I think of that skit and... Uh, yeah. But anyways, this movie was really good. There were a couple twists that were predictable, but the end twist... I did not see it coming at all. I'm not going to cap. I didn't see it coming. Um, I didn't expect it. I was trying to guess who is the killer, who is the killer, who is the killer, who is the killer. And I was like, is it this person? Is it this person? Is it this person? And my guesses were nowhere near correct at all at the end. And so I thought it was, you know, other people might say it was predictable, but I personally didn't think it was predictable. I thought this movie was pretty decent. If I had to give it a score, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. Would I watch a sequel if I had to? But that's a little bit of a biased answer because, like I said, the Saw movies really aren't for me. I'm not the audience that they're aiming for. I'm not a big fan of Saw, but I watched this movie, so I did this review. But I think I could say, overall, unbiasedly, the movie review, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. And if you guys are friends of the Saw franchise, um, you should definitely check it out. If you're not a fan of Saw... I think you could pass on this movie unless you like gore and stuff like that. It is a little bit of a mystery movie. It's like, but, um, it's not a very good mystery as the detectives are always like five steps behind the whole movie. But the twist and I'd say like the final 15 minutes of this movie are really good. And the rest of the movie is pretty mediocre. So like, I think the payoff really pays off at the end. The payoff pays off. LOL. Anyways, I think the build up and the climax at the end really make the movie worth watching. But that's just my opinion. You guys, I watch movies so you don't have to. I'm Trilogy with Trilogy Effect. I do a lot of movie content, Dungeons and Dragons, technology, manga, anime, nerd stuff. You know, if you're interested in any of that stuff or this video helped you decide if you were going to watch this movie. I do movie reviews all the time. I definitely recommend checking out my channel. I have curated playlists and everything like that. This is Trilogy with Trilogy Effect. I hope you'll subscribe, support the channel, like, comment down below. You have no idea how much it supports me. And I thank you. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.